The Wealth Inequality Research Agenda is crucial to understanding inequality, especially in the Global South. Wealth inequality captures past inequalities that are compounded and determine future inequalities. Some really valuable thoughts came out of today's session. Let's hear what they had to say. I think one of the biggest issues about wealth inequality in Mexico is that we have very little information about uh, wealth concentration. Uh, we don't have access to tax data, for example, um, and it would be useful to know more to actually estimate how big wealth inequality is. Recent studies have suggested that it's one of the highest levels of concentration in the OECD. Chile has a long history of inequality. With new um, evidence, we know uh, now that this is a history of persistence of income concentration in terms of income inequality and wealth inequality. Most of my research is conducted in Brazil. The question of inheritance in Brazil is very complicated. We, um, Brazil has very low inheritance tax uh, and in fact legally uh, the wealthy are obliged to pass 50% of their estate down to their, uh, to their heirs and by law. Uh, so this uh, really locks uh, wealth inequality into the Brazilian social and economic systems in very profound ways. When you look at wealth inequality in India is that uh, there is a serious lack of access to data. So economists don't have the macro data that they can tap into and qualitative researchers like me don't know how to access these subjects because they're so exclusive. Or the disjunctions between the rich and the poor, the elite and the different classes is very clearly, neatly spelled out. There are exclusionary gated spaces where they live, one doesn't even know how to get about it. I think the biggest issue about wealth inequality in our country is that we've focused so much on poverty and not done a lot in terms of wealth inequality. However, what we are observing now that wealth inequality is becoming a very big issue whereby we really need to tackle it. And you cannot tackle it without you having evidence. So the biggest issue around wealth inequality is the uh, rapid rise in the share of top 10%. So the bottom 90% has actually lost in terms of wealth share in the last 20 years and it is just the top 10% that has gained. And even amongst that, so it is really just the top 1% which has been the beneficiary. This workshop has been very helpful uh, to think about issues related to wealth inequality in the sense that it's an important interdisciplinary uh, endeavour. Um, so the fact that we had this different experts uh, in different fields, different disciplines, uh, has been useful to see different aspects that I'm not researching myself, but uh, that can be com complementary. The centre is, is really doing something very new in terms of bringing together researchers to really focus on wealth inequality in the South. Um, so it's been really fascinating and new for me to be able to compare my own uh, findings in Brazil with the research of other people working in other countries in the Global South, in India, in Ghana, in Uganda. We're speaking to economists and historians and as well as sociologists from other countries. So when I speak to the economists, I know the macro trends that are happening and I think I help them by visibly the micro processes through which what happens. So I think it's a good conversation to have between these two disciplines. It has helped me to rethink in terms of the wealth inequality research. It has brought out the issue that we really need to focus on wealth inequality than focusing on income inequality. It has given a you know, different perspective to think about the problems. The interdisciplinary approach, the sociologists who are working on this, on elites, uh, in say Brazil for instance, that gives a you know, completely different approach which we can apply to our problems in our own countries. I think workshops like this are very important uh, because they bring together people that are usually very dispersed in uh, geographic terms but also in disciplinary terms uh, and it allows us to actually physically meet and to speak. I would say this has been very successful in encourage multidisciplinary approach and, and, and combine, combining methodologies. Um, this is only uh, possible if we analyze the same issue together and we uh, bring together different ideas and methods and this was uh, completely successful in my opinion. Workshops like these are extremely important because A, uh, you do need the funds uh, to do this research. Increasingly social science funding is in scarce amount and when you come to spaces like this you do identify possible places you could apply for, possible people you can speak to. The second I would say is that also the valuable inputs that these people could give on the things that you're writing. So now after I've met somebody I could send my work across and say 
say, hey, could you think about having a look at it? So I think uh, conferences and workshops facilitate this kind of an intellectual exchange, which is crucial for doing good work. It is about knowledge sharing, it's about peer-to-peer -peer learning, and it also helps you to really look at the cutting-edge methodologies that are being used elsewhere. So as you can see, everyone's taken a lot of value from today's workshop. We really look forward to using the ideas that came out of the workshop to advance the overall research agenda and to provide valuable insights into inequality in our countries.